Yeah, it's over 4,000 again. Uh, we're almost ready. My mom's about to make the deviled eggs. We boiled the eggs, and I peeled off the eggshells myself. I'm just so happy. And my brother's over yonder uh, making celery. Um, get, you know, cream cheese and peanut butter for me, uh, you know, on celery, which is good. And my brother peeled potatoes. My mom put them up in the cubes and put them in the, yeah, you know, for mashed potatoes. And I did the ham. Like so. And that's my brother's ham glaze that my mom makes from scratch that he's obsessed with. And my brother said he made, uh, he did the ham. You know, man's job. Yeah. That one's a turkey breast and that one's a ham. And the ham looks like it'd be really good. Every year my brother has to have ham and ham glazed. And now he's about to spread the peanut butter on the celery for me. I'm not showing him yet because he's not fully dressed yet. One time I filmed him when he wasn't fully dressed and he got, you know, he got mad. <laughs> um, my mom's about to do the deviled eggs. Are you explaining what you're doing, Mama? I'll just boil the jumbo eggs. I'm just slicing them. I make my deviled eggs with lemon juice. I don't use vinegar. And then, what are you going to do after that? I'm going to take all these yolks out of the eggs. Mashing them up. We'll make the filling. Let's pop the yolks right out. <laughs> when my brother puts peanut butter in salary, he doesn't mess around. It was a good day having my kids help me today. It was more like a holiday when we all get in together and do it. Mom, you're so sweet. Huh? And a lot of people. My radio is all off. I've had a lot of people uh, compliment me on the eggs. They like these deviled eggs. Yeah, my friend Cheyenne used to be obsessed with the deviled eggs. Remember? Yep. Okay. Mash them up. My brother went off to fix his radio because it's off the station he wanted. He's gotten into a country c kick lately. He used to think he was this big old gangster, you know, and only uh, listen to rap, but lately he's gotten to be a cowboy. Now, I do not measure, so all you have to do is watch me because I don't measure things when I cook. Dry mustard. Lemon juice. Now, I always add the lemon juice before I add the mayonnaise because I like a lot of lemon. <laughs> and what I do is taste it before I add the mayonnaise to see if I need any more lemon. How is it, Mama? That's pretty good. Maybe a tad more lemon.
Look at that mayonnaise thing my brother bought. Look how big it is. You forgot to cut it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Okay, get a spoon. I almost overdid it on the mini. They should be thicker than that. That happened. That happened. So don't add quite that much mayonnaise. Go up one spoon instead of two like I did. They'll be fine when they're put in the refrigerator and they're set up. You can get fancy and put it in a piping bag if you wanted to. Or the pampered chef thing I used to decorate pies with, you could put it in there. But if you're in a hurry like me, you just put it in there. But to me, the lemon juice tastes better than better than vinegar. Okay, and I'm out of paprika. I can't find it. Oh, that red so, stuff you always yeah. on it. I looked and looked and didn't know I was out. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of chili powder. This one, I think this one's newer. I look, but I don't see it. Nope. So if you do that, you run out of just a little bit of chili powder on top. Okay. That's deviled eggs. Cool.